when it comes time to extract meaning from a situation to escape the mundaneity of that near maze that loses you in a world of possibilities, endless associations and distractions keeping you entertained with possibilities. It comes time to choose a course of action, but most importantly, to stick to it. And when it comes to finding the meaning that fulfills your drive to be purposed in life, you have to define it for yourself. It's up for grabs. Any situation can be interpreted infinite ways. And everyone has their own interpretation of it. These interpretations of situations, these many facets of these many people's minds, and the way they see things, all affect their actions, which is what affects reality. Reality and its foundation is built upon the meaning that surrounds our interpretation of our experience. Now, meaning itself really means nothing without actionable purpose. An interpretation of a situation has to breed actionable courses to process that information in reality, to embed your interpretation into the reality of other people's points of view, which thusly affects other people's actions that define reality. Now is the only time you have. You have the past to draw from, which is the most important reservoir of data matrices that you can extract information from through meta data analyses of patterns in life. And by identifying those patterns that you've gone through in life, those patterns of interactions with others, you will learn to come to see the gravity of the emotions that fuel your passion, your purpose, which thus is the driving factor of the meaning you project into reality through your actions, and thus is fed back to you through shamanic-like signs, synchronicities, and it takes practice to interpret those signs way that reinforces your own personal mythology. And now your, your own personal mythology is the backbone. It's your base of operations in the subconscious substrate from which all your thoughts come from. Your intuition 
is guided by the prioritization of information that you seek in reality. And that information that you prioritize to emphasize in life towards paying attention to your most valuable commodity, attention, time, but the most important one of all is value itself. That which you deem most valuable is that which determines the way your intuition identifies and flows through into your subconscious and into your conscious for to identify this opportunity that your intuition has appointed a value for you to observe and, up and acknowledge. The most important thing about synchronicity, which feeds into your personal mythology as the subconscious programming you instill over the years through visualization and ritual using symbolism and the roles you identify with. Those opportunities to acknowledge those synchronicities are subtle but very important in terms of reinforcing that subconscious programming of the backbone of your purpose, which is your personal mythology. Your personal mythology acts on the astral realm within the collective unconscious. People respond to that which is most deeply embedded into your subconscious. And your intuition is the antenna that tunes you into the frequency that resonates with others and points out experiences that are of value to your personal mythology. And the signs that come up in those experiences that in your heart tells you this is important, this is significant, the signs are relevant to my personal understanding of my own mythology in relation to the world mythology. This is how you communicate with the collective unconscious. You have to identify the signs and acknowledge them. And a good way to acknowledge those signs is to perform many rituals. You know, take a stick and another stick, maybe another stick and a vine. Form a triangle in a circle. to acknowledge the pinpointing, the triangulation of that sign. And that symbol you project into the outside world helps the embedding of that synchronicity in real life into your subconscious. And this is the feedback loop that you continue to interact with realities, providence, according to the symbol sets of your subconscious mythology and how those symbol sets define your priorities. Simple things you can do are build altars in nature, build altars in the city, build altars in people's homes, 
had a little object sacred to you. Powerful ways of projecting your values into reality are to take objects that are of high value to you and offer up those objects onto these altars in places that mean something to you in relevance to places in your personal mythology. And then your personal mythology is built through the connections you make with it in reality. And those bridges between your subconscious mythology with reality through altars and offerings and meditative acknowledgement of the signs and contemplative revelatory states of Gnosis found in the deepest meditative states and blissful psychedelic experiences through whichever modality you choose <laughs> to embody those blissful psychedelic experiences that help you find connection 